Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and today we're going to be creating a product with Drupal Commerce on our Drupal site. And you'll notice I have some just uh, default content in here, and these are just some of our tutorials. Uh, this is just default content. Don't worry about it. Other than that, we're running with a pretty standard Bartik theme here. Uh, so I'm going to come to Store, and we're going to click on Products. Now here we have the option of, actually let me just boost the size of this in general. Now here we have our product screen and once you have your products or your SKUs in here, they're going to be all listed here just like your content would be in Drupal's normal content. And we can add a product from here. We also have product types and product types are analogous to content types, right? So if we come to product types, we'll see that there's one, and we can manage fields, manage display, that sort of stuff. And you'll see we have product SKU, title, price, and status. Um, so these are the default fields that come in with the default product. So let's go ahead and come back to products and let's add a product. This product SKU is, has to be unique. Uh, since we're not having a real store, we can just call this LUT 000. Now we can say, Product one, the price is going to be eight ninety nine US dollars, and the status is going to be active. Now you can have a log message if you'd like, but we're not going to. Let's just go ahead and save product. Okay, so now we have our product, and if we come to this title, we can click on it, and it just takes us to our menu or our edit screen, right? So with any piece of content that you've created in Drupal before what happens is you create the piece of content and then it's a node living on Drupal, right? So the node is just a piece of content and in this situation you would create a node like a basic page and it would just show up as a node. However, we have created this product and you can see um, even if we go to our content, no, it's not going to show up. And even though this is a view of our content, it's still not going to show up. So what do we do? You've created this product and now it doesn't exist, right? Well, to have your products show up in Drupal's interface, you need what's called a product display. And for a product display, it's essentially a node that's referencing a product. So let's come to our structure. Then we're going to come to content types and we can add a content type that is just going to be named product display. Now, if you had a particular type of product, this might be a good time to make that product, um, that type of product, uh, make the name a little bit less generic than product display, right? So uh, let's save and add fields. I'm going to want to go ahead and turn like commenting that stuff off later, but right now it doesn't matter. Let's just add a new field and this field is just going to be product. And here we can scroll down and we see one of our options for a field is a product reference. Now let's have it be a autocomplete text field so we can just search for the product's name or the SKU and let's click save. Um, and options limit list, uh, we don't we don't need to have anything here, and we now have a product. Perfect. So let's save these settings and let's create one of these products. Let's go to add content, product display. Let's say our new product or whatever this product's called. Um, perhaps actually, let's just call it product one and we don't need a body yet but this could be a description about maybe the product and here we can just start typing in our SKU and you'll see it auto completes okay let's save that and let's check out the page so now we have a node now we have a display on our site and we have the stuff that you would normally expect to see I mean obviously you're not gonna want this and you're not going to want this add new comment, but we have the product, we have the name of our product display, and we have the price 
and we have this add to cart button. Now how can we clean this up? I'm going to open up a new tab and check out structure and content types. We're going to edit this content type for product display and I'm going to say don't display author information, hide comments, and let's save this, refresh. Um, it's actually looking a little bit better but uh, we need to turn off commenting here, save it. Okay, so now we have uh, a node with a price and an add to cart, but we still have this weird product label. Let's come to our, uh, uh, our manage to display again under content types. For our product display, we're going to now manage the display and there's this label and we're just gonna make that label hidden. Now what you'll notice is that in this product display, keep in mind we're still on the node, not the product itself, we have some options here. We have the ability to drag this, the product title in, the product status, and the uh, SKU. If we wanted to display the SKU, we could just drag that in here, and now it's gonna, let's actually put it above the price. So now it's gonna have the SKU, then the price, then the product itself, the add to cart. So let's save this, come back to our node, we refresh, and now we have the SKU, we have the price, and add to cart button. So here we are, we have a product, we have a product display, and we have an add to cart button. Let's see what happens if we click this, it adds it to our cart. We can even view our cart and you'll see what we have is the beginnings of a very basic web store. Of course, you could try to check out, but we haven't really configured any of that stuff yet, but we'll get to it. So you've now had the ability to see the difference between a product and a product display. You now know how to add fields. And in the next few videos, we're gonna create more complex products. So as always, this is Scott with Level Up Tuts. If you have any questions or comments, leave a comment in the video. Hit us up at Twitter, Facebook, or pretty much anywhere. We'd love to hear from you. Also, if you feel like supporting Level Up Tuts and our efforts to bring free tutorials, you can sign up for a pro paid account on leveluptuts.com. It gets you just a few additional features like downloadable videos. Uh, there's access to a private forum. You can download a SAS mastery course that I created. and uh, basically, you get an ad-free experience on Level Up Tuts, and code examples are coming soon. So, if you feel like supporting and you know want to support us to keep these videos free, feel free to sign up. If not, don't worry about it. We're going to keep making these videos for free, anyways. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.